Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for attending our information session today. So let's go ahead and let's start. Let's talk about our information technology program here at Davidson Davy Community College. First off, let me introduce myself. My name is Paul Campbell. I am a faculty member here who is helping to teach our networking and cybersecurity courses to our students. Networking and cybersecurity are basically two different technologies that are working together hand in hand. And our students are diving deep and learning more as to how networking and cybersecurity works together. Like for example, that text message that you just sent to somebody today, that involves networking and cybersecurity. When you went to go check your email to send, whether it's to uh, somebody from work or a family member or anybody else, that involves networking and cybersecurity. So networking and cybersecurity involves in our daily lives, whether it's for play, whether it's for work, or whether it's for school. And so our students are learning, learning more about things such as cyber attacks. They are learning more about communications. They are learning more about Wi-Fi. They are learning more about data. They are learning more about monitoring. So our students are basically becoming more knowledgeable and becoming more comfortable working within the areas of networking and cybersecurity. Networking. Simply put, computer networking is a study of how computers can be linked uh, to share data. Now, one of the things that we want our students to, to do is to be comfortable and to be confident in understanding what a network is. And so through repetition and through hands-on experience, we are having our students to starting to learn more of the methods, uh, starting to learn more of the policies and the procedures, and basically what makes a network. And so basically with networking, you are looking at the design, you are looking at the construction, and you're also looking at the use of a network. But also our students are also learning how to manage and how to maintain, how to troubleshoot uh, the operation of a network infrastructure. And along with understanding the different types of software uh, and tools that are used within a network to either monitor or to catch um, suspicious activities. And also, students have to understand the policies and procedures and protocols that involve making a network um, a secure network, uh, whether it's for a business or for a school or for a home. So basically, with networking with our students is that our goal is to have our students to become comfortable and to become confident to understand what is a network and how to operate and run a network system. Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. Our students are learning of the different methods and techniques that bad guys are using, so as to how to recognize when a system is being compromised. But yet also, our students are also learning how to protect our systems from those types of attacks. So with cyber attacks, they are usually aimed to either access, either change, or destroy some type of sensitive information. And also, there are bad guys out there who are trying to either extort money from, from people, uh, bad guys who are out there who are trying to interrupt normal business processes. Uh, so our students are basically learning how the bad guys are working, but yet they are also learning how to protect um, sensitive information, sensitive data, uh, whether it's for, such for example, for, as for a hospital or for a business or for a school or whether just for their own personal information. Careers. All right, let's talk about money. Okay, so in networking and cybersecurity, there are a lot of good jobs out there. And those jobs, they are a bit competitive. And so our students, when they graduate from here, from Davidson Davy Community College, um, here are a few positions that our students should be qualified for such as Network and Computer Systems Administrator, Computer and Information uh, Systems Manager, Computer Systems Analyst, Networking Consultant, IT Support Specialist, IT Networking Specialist, Cybersecurity Specialist, and a Help Desk Support. So these are just a few uh, positions that our students should be qualified for, but there are some factors that our students uh, have to keep in mind. So the salary range for these types of positions can be anywhere from like 35k up to 120k 
but that all depends on education, experience, certification, and location. And so we highly encourage our students to go ahead and pursue that higher education. Go ahead and get that bachelor's degree. Go ahead and get that master's degree because having those degrees will definitely put you up at a higher rank uh, to getting paid. And also experience. Experience is definitely vital. Um, if you don't have the experience working in the field, volunteer. Volunteer over the summer. Uh, do a co-op. Do a, a internship. That type, that type of experience is, will definitely help a student to obtain a job, keep a job, and also increase the pay. And another factor that is very important are certifications. Students have to have to go and get certifications to prove to employers that they know what they're talking about, that they know how to operate a network, that they know how to operate particular hardware or software. So cert certifications play a major key. And another factor is location. So for if a student is wanting to make anywhere between 60 to 80 to 90 K, most likely they are going to have to leave Davidson Davy County. Um, they may have to go to Raleigh. They may have to go up north. They may have to go out west. I mean, there's even opportunities out even overseas. So, so we educate our students to definitely consider their education, consider their experience, consider certifications, and consider location. Because the main reason that pretty much everybody is going to school is to get a good paying job. And that job can make a big difference in the lifestyle of that student and their family. And so, and so with that, we highly encourage our students to definitely do their best, definitely work hard, definitely know the material, but then also consider other factors when they are pursuing their careers. Do something that they like. Do, do, do something that pays well also. So when it comes to careers, definitely think about what you want to do, what you like doing, but then also think about the benefit of how much you will get paid for doing what you like doing. Certifications. All right. There are about 50 different types of certifications that are IT related uh, out there today. And so here are some of the certifications that we here at Davidson Davy Community College uh, help our students to be prepared for. Um, as I mentioned before, certifications play a major part. Certifications prove to employers that you know what you're doing. You know the material, you know the methods, you know the technology, you know the techniques. And most jobs do require you to have a certification first before they uh, hire you to to basically work on their equipment. Now some jobs will hire you based on your experience but then they give you a certain amount of time to go ahead and get that certification because that is basically there uh, for their comfort and also and also to assure that you know what you're doing. So here are a few certifications that we help our students to be prepared for. Uh, we help them to be prepared for the Cisco CCNA, for CompTIA Network Plus, CompTIA Security Plus, CompTIA Linux Plus, CompTIA A Plus, and uh, CompTIA CYSA Plus. So these are some certifications that we are helping our students to become confident and become more comfortable with because we know, and it, this is just fact, after a student finish school and when they apply for a job, most jobs require people to have certifications. And so certifications are vital, especially in the IT field because the field is constantly changing. So with our students, we want to help them to become confident and comfortable in the material so that then when they are finished with us, that they can go ahead and get these certifications to go ahead and get that job um, that they will. Jumpstart your future. Okay, everybody needs a helping hand. And so what I'm about to tell you right now is a great opportunity for you to take. Now, it is your choice. 
you can accept it or not but this is a very valuable opportunity um, that is going to be made known to you and I would highly highly encourage you to actually consider and pursue uh, this opportunity so one of the opportunities that I'm going to talk to you uh, in a few moments about it's going to help you to earn your high school and college credit at the same time and it's also going to help you to lower your cost of going to college while also is also going to allow you to get the taste of college life uh, while you are still uh, in high school and so we want to help you to prepare uh, to be success uh, to, to be a success in life and so with the opportunities that I'm, I'm about to present to you um, please please think over them consider them because these are opportunities that um, that everybody does not seem to take but for those who do take they seem to come out a lot better and they seem to have that jump start uh, to their future career and college promise this is one of the opportunities that I highly encourage you to really uh, look more into. The Career and College Promise, or the CCP, provides seamless dual enrollment educational opportunities for eligible North Carolina high school students in order to accelerate completion of college certificates, diplomas, and associate degrees that lead to college transfer or provide entry-level job skills. Now, students who are in grades 9 or 10 uh, may participate in a select group of pathways based on the eligibility criteria. So qualified juniors and seniors may choose any of the college transfer or career and technical education pathways. So basically, we are offering you different types of options, different types of pathways and which you can take to help you get that high school and college credit at the same time and that also saves money in your pocket as you pursue your college degree and also you will be exposed to uh, the college life which is, which will definitely help you with your people skills and your personal inner your personal skills with other people so please take a moment and please look into more into the uh, career and college promise or the CCP um, definitely talk more with your counselor about it because uh, I'm telling you this is a wonderful opportunity and I wish uh, this opportunity was offered to me when I was um, in in my uh, middle school and high school so uh, so definitely this is a great opportunity please don't let this uh, pass you by but if IT technology is one of your fields that you want to pursue Definitely, definitely take this opportunity with the CCP, with the Career and College Promise. High School Career and College Promise Pathways. Here at Davidson Davy Community College, we offer three different pathways in the information technology field. Uh, the first one is we offer information technology certificate that emphasis on digital media production. We also offer information technology, networking, and cybersecurity certificate that emphasis on Cisco networking. And we also offer the information technology, networking, and cybersecurity certificate that emphasis on Cisco security. So these are basically three different pathways in which you can take. Uh, but for those of you who are interested in the networking and cybersecurity, uh, definitely consider the either the um, emphasis on Cisco networking or the emphasis on Cisco security. Um, so with that, we the opportunity is there for you. Uh, still part of the high school career and college promise pathways. Those are great opportunities for you to take and we highly, highly encourage you to please uh, consider going these pathways. All right, we are coming near to an end. So if anybody have any questions or any concerns that you would uh, like to ask, please feel free to contact me, Paul Campbell at Paul underscore Campbell at Davidson CCC .edu. So any questions, any concerns that you may have concerning networking and cybersecurity, 
by all means, please reach out to me and I'll be glad to talk with you to answer any questions, address any concerns that you may have. For more information about Davidson Davy Community College, please check out our website at www.davidsondavy.edu and we have plenty of information if you want to check out more information about our program, uh, want to check out information about our other types of programs that we have at Davidson Davy, and also want to check out more about our CCP program, the opportunities that, that are made available to you. And so, by all means, go ahead, type it up on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. Uh, check us out. Please, by all means, check us out. Thank you so much for your time and attention today. Uh, I hope the information that was presented to you was of some value to you. And I hope any of you students out there who are considering a uh, career in networking or cybersecurity, please consider us at Davidson Davy Community College. Uh, we have some great opportunities out here for you all and we want to see you su succeed and we have some pathways in which can change your life and which can change uh, your family lives. So um, please, once again, consider us as an option uh, for your future, for a pathway towards your career and we hope to hear from you and we hope to see you in the future and you all enjoy your day and uh, take care.